tight crowd at Anfield tonight. However, there is the chance for them to judge the merits of two men in contention for a vital role in the England side. John Barnes of Liverpool is the man in possession for England down the left flank, a fine, fluent footballer. But now the competition for that place is fierce indeed. And Arsenal's Brian Marwood, 28 years old but playing better than ever, is one man very close to a breakthrough for Bobby Robson. Tonight, a wonderful stage then, both for Marwood and for Barnes. Barnes takes his place in the Liverpool side, still deeply wounded by injuries. No Hanson, Gillespie, Gobola, and new signing David Burrows from West Brom is cup tied. The centre-backs tonight likely to be Steve Nicol and Nigel Spackman, who comes into the team. Ronnie Whelan's recovered from a jarred ankle. And Steve McMahon, who's missed 11 games with a knee injury, he's a Liverpool sub. As for Arsenal, they are unchanged once again. A settled look to their side that pledges to come here and attack on a ground where they've not won in the last 14 years. It's the team that beat Coventry last Saturday. The referee tonight is George Courtney from Spennymoor. So Arsenal in the yellow strip, attack the goal to our right, get this tie underway, the tie of the round they call it. And certainly it's oozing with the right sort of pedigree. Liverpool have won this competition four times. Arsenal have been in the final the last two seasons. Two seasons ago, they beat Liverpool at Wembley. Last season, of course, they lost in dramatic style to Luton Town. And they arrive here with Liverpool in fourth place in the first division. Arsenal second. So really plenty to play for. And here's Spackman now to Halton for Liverpool. Tipped with the outside of the boot. It's Lee Dixon there, finding the prolific goal scorer, Alan Smith. Thomas, who will have a lot to say in the midfield for Arsenal tonight. On the ball now with a cross in and Steve Nicol getting it away. And the point back have lost three of their last six matches, but they've only been beaten once here at Anfield this season by Newcastle United. Here's Smith. Ablett. The Barnes. Aldridge. And the mood is Ian Rush these days. John Lukic. Rowcastle. Comes to Beardsley. Rush played off quickly there for Houghton. And a great run through by Venison now for Liverpool. He's gone inside Winterburn, but Winterburn stuck to him well, and the ball now reaches Marwood. But a really threatening move there, made by the running of Venison, but now at the other end it's Merson for Arsenal. Smith waiting at the far post, Thomas coming in as well, but Spackman was there to put him off his stroke. And deflected over the top, the shot from Brian Marwood that looked destined to be the first goal of the night. Played in here. Smith looking to get onto it, but it's Marwood who intervenes, and the ball eventually coming off Steve Nicol for the corner. Bold is at the near post, along with Smith, two big men, but in fact it's Barnes who gets it away for Liverpool. And here's Houghton uh, helping out, then the slip, Marwood with the cross, and a chance now for Merson! A great chance there for Arsenal! But the flag, in fact, was up below us for an offside against the Arsenal number 10. But a vulnerability there about the Liverpool defence that will cause a few shivers on the cop. Newcastle. Thomas just inside him, and Merson too. Dixon waiting here. Now Richardson, Marwood in splendid isolation on the far side. Winterburn thought about it, decided to play it to Smith. And now Brian Marwood. Thomas. Arsenal keeping possession quite comfortably at the moment. Marwood again. Looking for that important ball. And what an important uh, ball it was. Met superbly first by Paul Merson. And then brilliantly uh, pushed away by Mike Hooper. Marwood opening it up. Merson, a lovely shot on the turn and superb reactions from the Liverpool keeper. And a 
corner then for Arsenal, which Marwood will take. Rolled up there. Adams in there. And pushed away again with the uh, Liverpool defence at full stretch. And Mike Cooper doing uh, more important work. Certainly... Uh, Cooper doing very well, pushing that out again. His reaction is absolutely perfect. Touchdown nicely by Aldridge. Beardsley now. Barnes outside him. Rush ahead of him. Handball given. Richardson not happy with the decision, but it opens up a possibility now for Liverpool. Might well be a job for John Barnes. Richardson claiming that he handled it as he fell. There was nothing intentional. It's still all of 27, 28 yards out, but fairly central. And John Barnes, the lone figure in red behind this ball. Dennison's made a little move to the left for him. But Barnes curling it, and it was easy for Lukic. versus Ablett. Whelan comes away with it. Aldridge. Beardsley. Twenty-three-year-old Arsenal captain, Tony Adams. Aldridge. This time a foul by Adams on Rush. Adams very unhappy with that. And this is a little closer in. And it might be another opportunity for John Barnes. Although it's Beardsley and Houghton immediately behind this one. And Barnes seems loath to take part. And in the Arsenal wall, that's for sure. Now Barnes is in amongst them. So it'll be a Barnes free kick. Or will it be a Beardsley free kick? That's something for Arsenal to work out. First, the wall has got to be lined up the correct distance. It's Beardsley, driven just over the crossbar. And the referee still having a word with Tony Adams, who clearly was complaining way after that kick was taken about the award of the kick in the first place. Beardsley over the top. Thomas to Rowcastle. Smith again, looking to get something on the turn. Alan Smith! Good play again by Hooper. And Liverpool not out of the wood yet, but now they will be. So we've had three exceptional piece of goalkeeping, uh, pieces of goalkeeping by uh, Mike Hooper tonight. The latest of them uh, preventing Alan Smith, the man who was already on 13 goals this season, getting through he turned well and made an excellent yard or so for himself here and look how well Hooper did Marwood to Richardson Smith again chesting it down looking uh, for Marwood to get in oh that was a foul by Bold on Rush that's a booking and Rush comes away limping it was a rash and fairly reckless looking challenge, I have to say, by Steve Bold. When sliding in there, took Rush from behind, really without any hope of getting the ball, and George Courtney quick to act. Bold. Great parcel. Smith. And Merson just keeping it in. There's his cross, a good deep one. Mar was coming from the far side, but Liverpool... Nicol and Benison between them getting it away as the half-time whistle goes. No goals, but a lot of commitments with Arsenal making the better chances. Maybe the best of them all was one made for himself by Alan Smith, but he, uh, having got through and having got it onto the left foot, found that Mike Hooper, who's made three stunning saves tonight to keep Liverpool on level terms at half-time, that Hooper was there again. Half-time score then here at Anfield.
in the third round of the Littlewoods Cup. It's Liverpool nil, Arsenal nil. So Liverpool will be looking to step up their performance in the second half. They were clearly below their best in that first half, where Arsenal had the better chances. But they'll be reassured, Liverpool, the fact that Bruce Trobelar's back in training again now, so is Alan Hansen. Jim Beglin, in fact, played a reserve game last night. And, of course, Steve McMahon is one of their substitutes uh, tonight. So the reinforcements are beginning to arrive for beleaguered Liverpool with all their injury problems. Nil-nil here in this Littlewoods Cup. And Ronnie Whelan. Rush. Aldrich. Barnes. And Winterburn not making a very good clearance there, but he was helped by Bold. And Dixon in the end gets it back. Now for Winterburn, here's Marwood, looking to get something on target, pushed away well again by Hooper. Good busy spell that by Arsenal, some really purposeful close passing, and Marwood spotting a gap here, certainly worth a shot, and Hooper again to the rescue of Liverpool. Arsenal's corner. Hooper's fists. Richardson will hope to collect. Plays it for Brian Marwood again. A corner given. Not the free kick. And the Arsenal fans, you can see, delighted with the form of Marwood and feeling that Arsenal could be on to something. Nil-nil, though, still, with a quarter of an hour of the second half gone. Marwood with the corner. That time, Hooper didn't get his fist to it. Not enough the line. The header from Tony Adams. And Liverpool break away from uh, a real crisis point and find John Barnes. No, it's Richardson now for Arsenal. Smith through the middle for him. Merson on the far side. Smith has dragged away to the far post. And it'll not come to it. So again, Arsenal so very close. Flicked on well there. And Tony Adams flying in there, and it was uh, Venison who got it away off the line. Here's Barnes in a bit of space. Aldridge ahead of him. Rush inside him. Barnes might go all the way. It's in the back of the net. From Barnes. the chances had more of the game but it took a little bit of magic from the number 10 John Barnes that extra bit of pace there guiding it past Lukic and Liverpool are in the lead only his third goal of a season but a superb piece of play by John Barnes scored in the previous round at Walsall and has got an absolutely vital goal here against Arsenal. 64th minute of the game. Here we are again, a different angle. But, uh, in fact, Lukic got a fairly good touch to it, but it was a clinical piece of finishing and a marvellous run by John Barnes that led to it. Nickel. That's some good work by Nickel. Rush on the far side. Barnes coming in again. It's charged away though by Bold. Beardsley. Liverpool has certainly gone up a gear now. Aldrich trying to get through. Barnes equally. Oh, marvellous skills by Barnes. And uh, just toe poked it wide. Goal kick taken quicker than any goal kick I've ever seen, but allowed in the spirit of the game by referee Courtney. But some terrific work there by Barnes. Finished up, though, by putting it wide.
Adams. Forward towards Smith. Thomas playing it to Rowcastle. It struck oh, a fabulous goal by Rowcastle. And there indeed is the equaliser. What a fabulous strike by David Rowcastle. Spotted by Michael Thomas, a ball sprayed superbly by him. So little space, but hit with such venom. And Arsenal a level. Well, we've been treated to two superb goals here tonight. The first one by John Barnes, and then that one, a blistering shot. By Rowcastle is Aldridge. Are we going to get another one now? Houghton with a shot. It just cannoned off Winterburn and goes behind for the corner. Medicine. Bronze. Nicole. Steaming in on this one, and it comes to Lukic from uh, Ronnie Whelan's header. Crowd still trying to take in that David Rowcastle goal because it didn't really look as though a real shot was on. With about 17 minutes of the game left. that they should have lost the lead but it was a terrific strike that brought Arsenal back into it by the man on the ball at the moment lovely skills again by Rowcastle well stopped by Whelan finding Aldridge oh what a good ball there by Richardson for Thomas and it was a miss Terrific ball, though, by Kevin Richardson that really splits the Liverpool defence asunder. It's a good, powerful runner, Thomas, as well. But the finish could have been a lot better than that. Now Spackman. Smith. And Groves onside. Has he got the pace, or will Vinison get there first? given to Arsenal. Good turn and a volley, almost Mark Hughes style. Nice skill on his chest. There's a touch and there's a volley. Sadly for Arsenal into the side netting. Benison. Bold again, first to show. Richardson, Marwood. A hugely enjoyable second half, this one. Marwood turning in one way, turning the other. Great skills by Marwood and flicked away by Gary Ablett. What a brilliant piece of wing play there by Brian Marwood. It takes something to turn a Liverpool defence inside out as he did then, but then he finished it off with an absolutely devastating cross, which Arsenal couldn't quite finish off. Rowcastle. Some terrific play again by him. Dixon. Groves. Looking to pick up uh, Thomas on the far side. His cross towards Alan Smith. 
Boys there, my words! No, oh, there was a push. It won't count. It stays at 1 1. Certainly a very controversial moment, and Marwood certainly thought that he'd scored uh, for Arsenal, but it was ruled out, the referee indicating that it was a push. Ablett. They're playing time added on, and I can't recall a trainer being on at any time in the 90 minutes, so there can't be a lot of time to be added. Will there be time for Arsenal to make a last strike? George Courtney looking at the watch as Marwood takes it up. The final whistle goes. The tie of the round, and certainly in the second half, it lived up to that. Full of great commitment and a lot of skill, and two exceptional goals by the two men in the picture there. The first by John Barnes, a terrific solo run, and a clinical bit of finishing at the end of it. And then a rasping shot from David Rowcastle for Arsenal when it looked that the shot could hardly have been on. Well, it means that there's more entertainments in store when they replay at Highbury next Wednesday.